or sitting Republican president who has committed no crime. So the, the, whole, par- the whole party is a rhino party. They've, they've strayed. There are a lot of Republicans who are part of what I am increasingly heard called the Uniparty. If Trump can't run again in 2024, how do we hold Democrats responsible and punish them for what they did? In the midst of deep censorship, we need to bind together. I believe that just as the Israelites had a Red Sea moment when their back was against the Red Sea and Pharaoh was chasing them, I believe our generation of conservatives are going to have our own Red Sea. Like, as in, like, a story that didn't happen? What the fuck? Like, what? Dude, what the fuck? Do these people legitimately believe, like, Jesus walked on water and shit, too? What Moment, so to speak, fuck? where God is going to do the impossible. Like, seeing it as an analogy to overcome, like, yep. uh, incredible odds or something is one thing, but, like, literally parting the Red Sea or, like, literally walking on water? Holy fuck, dude. I thought people just thought, you know, that stuff is... That stuff is just like supposed to serve as a metaphor, you know what I mean? And not things that literally happened. And part the waters for us, so to speak. But I believe that we will get a strategy um, personally going forward. Um, we need to continue to lift our voices and not allow censorship to get in the way. I think the censorship has, has really discouraged a lot of people from truly um, sharing their beliefs and continuing to get the word out about what they know to be true. Yeah, how, do we, yeah, how do we punish the Democrats in 2024? You primary every single Republican who had the least bit to do with this. Uh, nobody's seat should be safe. Or no, nobody's seat should be un. Un, unchallenged, you know, a, a anywhere in Congress and even even at the state legislature levels. Yeah, because I've, there's been a lot of talk uh, when I go to a lot of these rallies, they talk about, you know, let's form a patriot party. Everyone, a lot of Trump supporters are really done with the Republican Party. And it's like, all right, Good. let's form a patriot party. But at the same time, we're everyone's saying, well, let's pro everyone's getting a primary challenge. The Lindsey Grahams, the Mitt Romneys, all that. What are your thoughts? Starting a third, fourth, fifth, sixth party. I mean, there's, there's a Libertarian Party. There's a Constitution. But starting a party is difficult. Who knows? I mean, Trump might be the guy who can do it. He's already been president. I mean, he's not Ross Perot. He's not John Anderson. The man has been president. He got more votes than any other president in the history, including Obama. And, 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 and he had a phenomenal number of votes. And if... And he, what, 69 million Twitter followers? I mean, well, he did. I don't know how he's going to... I don't know how that's going to be replaced. You replaced that. <laughs> Owned. That's gone, baby. <laughs> that's pretty funny. And, there, and there, there, there's tens of millions of Americans who want to know what he wants. Also, the funny thing is, like, when people say, like, he got more votes than any other president, like, what was he trying to say, you think? Who, who was the other president that he was, he was mentioning that got more votes than Trump did because he won the election? Oh, that's right. That was fucking Joseph Robinette Biden. Wants to do and what needs to be done for this country. If there's going to be a man in the history of the United States that could start a third party, it's going to be Donald Trump. I've never seen you, brother. I've never seen you. Thanks, Space Ace, for buzzing in the room for 19 months. Anybody else seen I've never seen this guy. I'm here at you. Hey, no, guys, 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 he's cool. Guys, no, no, no problem, bro, no problem. He is not Antifa. No, dude, he's... That's filmmaker Alex Lockett being confronted by armed Trump supporters. Yeah, you better apologize, bro. Don't judge a book by its goddamn cover. He's been following some of the most dedicated Trump campaigners in Phoenix, Arizona. They're a mix of Make America Great Again. Brother, you look too soy for me, okay? I'm sorry, brother. And fans, proud boys and militia types, they call themselves patriots. It's a little windy today. Oh. Don't believe the over media. I got ABC, MSNBC, Fox, and CNN. Kind of got them on here, you know. I don't listen to what they say anymore. So. Yeah, fuck Fox News, them, them liberal media clowns, dude. Okay, brother. So, yeah, this is my whole car. I've had to redo it a few times. Like I said, I've gotten several drinks thrown at my car, but 
I can get out here and redo it. I ain't gonna let a few drinks scare me, so I'm gonna keep doing my car however I wanna do my car, and these babies are secure on, so they can't be taken off easily. Across She's the so park, proud, dude. A man in a soon-to-be infamous set of horns. <laughs> Jake Angeli is the QAnon shaman. Shaman. Your life, did you stop listening to the mainstream narrative? When I realized that doing my own research brought me more information than listening to the news ever could. Mm. Once I stopped allowing the news to make up the, my mind or my narrative for me, I grew exponentially, not just politically, but spiritually, intellectually, and physically. Dude, how did this happen? Like, where doing your own research immediately triggers something in my brain that it, it's just, when I hear someone say, I'm doing my own research, brother, I'm like, oh, I know this person's batshit crazy. Like, this is a crazy person, okay? And uh, they are just uh, having a moment. And, and that they are going to tell me about how fucking broccoli actually makes your kids gay or something. You know, because, I mean, I was actually able to take the information that I was absorbing and apply it to my activist routine. <laughs> Angeli addresses the crowd about the QAnon worldview, like in which Trump wages war against a cabal of satanic pedophiles. So Q most certainly did send me, ladies and gentlemen. Q is the highest levels of the military and the intelligence community in the United States. And they are disseminating above top secret information right. to patriots in our republic. That means people like you. So that we can take back our country from the communists and the globalists who have infiltrated our government at some of the highest levels and some of the lowest levels, like pollsters, so that they can bring us down from the inside, ladies and gentlemen, because they knew there's a gun behind every blade of grass and they couldn't take on the American military. So they had to try to sneak in the back door, but we caught them, baby! Like, why can't you just like something normal and nerdy? Like, I don't know, painting Warhammer figurines or something. Like, because the level of enthusiasm and energy they bring to this is like, like you know, going well. to Magic the Gathering uh, card games. Like, like, why couldn't you just be fucking normal and like something nerdy? Instead, you're like, your, your, your pet project, your hobby is being fascist, okay? It's like doing, trying to do fascism. Just fucking watch anime like the le the rest of us sexless fucking nerds, dude. What is wrong with you? That you were like, oh, no, nah, dude, I fucking think this fascism, fascism, sh fascism shit is poggers, dude. I never thought that... I never thought I'd see the day where I was like, I would be telling people, I would be recommending people unproductive hobbies like that. <laughs> As a form of like damage control and harm reduction. Oh la 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 la. Okay, YMCA is playing. I don't want to get fucking clapped up. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, this dude is such a hog, dude. Look at this. Look at this fucking dude, bro. Polling has ended. The votes are being counted, and the Trump supporters are celebrating. Wait, was that motherfucker getting Domino's pizza with the rest of them? Oh, no, he wasn't. I was going to say, that shit ain't organic, bro. You don't get to eat that. Polling has ended. The votes are being counted, and the Trump supporters are celebrating. They begin a dance-off. And some of the Biden crowd across the street join in. led you to be a shaman it was my calling since i was a child but in all honesty i always wanted to know what the native americans understood i knew that they had something that, that they didn't wear feathers like headdresses and they didn't dress like this you know what i'm saying and and drink uh plant medicines and uh you know know all the stars and the cycles of the the earth and stuff they didn't know all that for no reason 
there was, there was there was a reason for all that. I knew there was a reason for their ancient traditions, and I wanted to understand it in a deep and profound way. What kind of world do you want to live in? Oh, I want to live in a world where we have a symbiotic relationship with the environment and each other. Yeah. Do you think we could ever get that in America? Oh, dude, America's where it's going to start first. Yeah? So you yeah. Think, yeah. And do you think Donald Trump's the guy to do that? I think Donald Trump is one of the people that is uh, in a long line of people that is going to ensure that this happens. And he's the first of many, I will say. So what happens in, like, a Bi what does a Biden world look like? A Biden world looks like communist China. Even that's not true because, like, at first I was going to say, yeah, that's what it would look like because communist China is not fucking communist. But then I remembered, no, actually, there is still like, you know, high speed rail and, and uh, actual development of uh, rural areas, like uh, infrastructure uh, spending in communist China. So technically they are, while not being communist, still doing more as far as social safety nets. Um, we do have the fucking concentration camps, though. So that's that's uh, an area where we're so similar to communist China. I guess, or not concentration, but the re-education camps. Fun! I was scared, but I felt alive. Go Trump! But as the counting goes on for days, and the media call the election for Biden, the tension starts. I love when people say shit like, I want... See, this is the other incredibly contradicting thing where this dude is like, oh, I want environmental symbiosis, which is why I love Donald Trump, a man who nuked the EPA, which was already an institution that had very, very little power by design, but uh, that wasn't enough. So he fucking literally appointed a, a, uh, a billionaire fucking CEO with the express purpose of like destroying the agency from within. I love the environment, which is why I voted and love a president who, whose actions were so gross uh, in regards to releasing methane emissions into the fucking planet uh, with, uh, with, with like uh, destruction of uh, any sort of regulation around uh, fracking that other fucking oil, gas and oil giants were like, yeah, this is too far. Please, we need to stop with this fucking methane emission. Like, it's, it's literally uh, too far. But yeah, little coal lobby. Each side hurls fury, lies, and distortions. Side, bring your Biden built the cages. You right. Biden built the cages. Biden built the cages, which is why we love the cages. Okay, Biden built the cages. That's bad. Do you like the cages? Yes, I do. Easy do you like Biden? Boys, no, I don't. Okay. What what do you what, what does Biden built the cages mean, dipshit? Like what what does that mean? If you're not fucking against the cages, then why are you talking about Biden building the cages? It's all, on, it's all on camera, bro. Oh, I know. Barack Obama is a big shareholder in Netflix. So that's the guy who's your president. Trump said he would f his own daughter. How is that? No! It is true. Trump did say that. Very weird. No, no, no relax. relax. You're gonna sit around here and see Kubaya as they f***ing steal the presidency? Big gun, big gun, my guy. IQ is genetic, right? You're not, average, trust me, you're not smarter than me. You're not smarter than me. It doesn't matter about individuals. It matters about an entire people. Whites can get back to doing what we do best, which is civilizing anything we come across and eventually... This guy is actually a Nazi, isn't he? He's like the cat boy Nazi who, like, what did he fuck Nick Fuentes or something? Why do I know this? I, this is information I don't need to know. But he was the one who got everyone to, like, uh, uh, to, to cheer him on as he was saying, like, we need to 
He was just saying a bunch of stuff. He was, he was, uh, I think, repeating like a literal Nazi. Um, yeah, he recited a Hitler speech a few weeks ago at a Trump rally and like got all the Trump uh, supporters to, uh, to, to cheer him on. Actually, we'll take the stars. They do it for the views. Yes. I don't agree with the way that he does his videos. It's all for shock content. And that's how he makes his money. And I don't agree with that at all. Bro, that media oh. wants this. They want us to react. Come on, guys. This is a peaceful demonstration. We're not going to argue with idiots. You don't play chess with pigeons. What's up, dude? How are you doing right now? I'm beautiful, baby. I'm great. We're just trying to keep this. We're just trying to keep this whole thing uh, peaceful and civil. Hey, you! Why don't you report that Biden raped his daughter? No. What? Why don't you report that Biden raped his daughter? What? Stop that way. I'm not going to hit you. I'm telling you to walk away from me or I'm just going to ignore you. I'm not trying to be mean, but I'm giving you a chance. I'm just going to ignore you. Biden raped his daughter. Biden raped his daughter. Biden raped his daughter. I mean, literal child. Like, he needs his mommy. He needs his, uh, I guess, his wife or whoever there. Who is acting as his mommy to come in and be like, hey, you're wrong and you're scaring the kids. Okay. We, want, we just want people, peaceful protest, and we understand there's a lot of emotions. Why don't you guys cover some? He kind of went off no, before. Thank you, honey. Thank you for calming down. I haven't. I'm taking a breath. Oh, okay. It's not good. Well, yeah. he's, he's making us look like idiots. Yeah. I don't even know what he's saying. Biden raped his daughter? I've never heard Biden that. Biden raped well, his daughter. He Have you yelling, heard that? No. Have you heard he that? was yelling a lot before about other no. stuff. We're like, wow, who is this guy? Well, but, you know, you're going to have extremists on both sides. Stop the steal! Stop the steal! In these days of resisting the Biden victory, Trump supporters are marching. Stop the steal! And Jake Angeli doesn't always wear his horns. In a suit and white tie, he opposes. Oh my God, he looks like a straight up Nazi with the fuck without the, the without the pain and shit. Is the things Biden stands for, like Black Lives Matter. BLM sucks. BLM sucks. BLM sucks. Bro, look at that. <laughs> It's January 6th, and Trump supporters in Phoenix believe their victory has been stolen. Washington's 2,000 miles away, but they're watching closely, ready to follow his lead. We're going to wait for President Trump to tell us what to do. This election. Insurrection! Suddenly, excitement spreads in the crowd, their phones revealing what's happening as the capital is being stormed. Patriots are inside Nancy Pelosi's office. I mean, there are some strange, strange characters in there, but that one video of the guys wearing the crazy headdresses, I mean, that just, to me, that didn't look like a, a traditional Trump supporter inside the building. And they were talking about the strange people that are inside there. And they said he's not... Um... It's pretty funny because like only when they like only in that context do they recognize how strange they look. It's like, dude, do you know how weird you look right now? You're covered in head to toe. Have a wonderful day. Of Sam. merchandise you that you purchased from a third party. Last year and making leftism more of, mainstream. A, a, of a president who is no longer the president. At a fucking rally surrounded by people who legitimately still think months later, months after an election, that like he's still the president. And you're surrounded by people who unironically think that like 
some some white caps are gonna come in and, and fucking uh execute every Democrat. Like this is you, man. This is you. Y'all are fucking crazy. Not a Trump supporter. Well, Jake is a person that comes here every weekend. Absolutely a Trump supporter, a Marine. You know, fought for our country. How did you feel when you saw Jake on screen? I was, I was, I just now saw him. I was very really happy, excited. It doesn't surprise me that he would make it inside. You know, he has that kind of a personality. And whatever he's doing, he's doing it because he believes in America. Inspired by what her fellow Trump supporters are doing in Washington, Tara heads to the Arizona state capitol. Chat, what does Son think about Thomas Sowell? Is he also a white supremacist? P.S. I just want to know. Yeah, fuck Thomas Sowell, dude. Every white supremacist's favorite uh, black person. Even if it is just the door to the museum, it won't be the last time history and who gets to write it. Like, this person needs help, bro. That's what she needs. She needs help. And it, and it, it starts with someone being like, lady, you are fucking nuts, dude. Someone needs to just be like, what you are doing is not normal, okay? Is confronted. You're yelling at a door. And you're not even yelling at the door of a fucking like These Capitol building. You're yelling at the door of a museum. That they donate to charity. After She's the literally the like thinking your team. Ma'am, this is a Wendy's life. meme in real life. She is literally donor walled by the fucking wall of a museum, dude. Thirty-three-year-old Jacob Anthony Chansley, self-described. On January 9th, Jake Angeli, real name Jacob Anthony Chansley, was charged with violent entry of the Capitol and disorderly conduct. The QAnon shaman, that's what he calls himself. He's the fool with the painted face and the weird horns on his head. His attorney's on the phone with me now. And I, I want to tell you, it's really important. We, we should stop calling people fools because we have a large percentage of our population who spent a great deal of time in their lives hanging on every... Being fools. ...every word of President Trump. He loved Trump. Every word. He listened to him. He felt like he was answering the call of our president. Look at this. These protesters are inside Statuary Hall. Right In the eyes of the law, doing what his president called for doesn't necessarily make him innocent. The bigger question for America is what does it make Donald Trump and where does it leave his supporters? This is great. Inauguration.